General Mills presents June and Stu Irwin in Trouble with Father. It's free. Yes, for the coupon inside these special packages of Betty Crocker cake mix, you get one package of Lipton's Frosty Dessert Mix, chocolate or vanilla flavor. Remember, if you like ice cream, you love Lipton Frosty. It's so easy to make. Wholesome fresh milk is all you add for that real, old-fashioned, homemade goodness. It only takes five minutes of your time. Your refrigerator does the rest. Yes, you can get a full-size package of Lipton Frosty free with this coupon that you'll find in this special package of Betty Crocker Cake Mix. This is the new Betty Crocker Cake Mix. Smoother batter with easier beating. New directions, too. Just two simple steps. And, of course, you'll get a cake with that real homemade goodness because you add the eggs. Try serving a cake like this with Frosty. You can get a full package of Lipton's Frosty free for the coupon inside this package of Betty Crocker Cake Mix. I spotted this fellow late in the afternoon. He looked mean and hungry, and I wasn't taking any chances with him. I was pretty lucky, I guess. This baby took 20 minutes to land, but it was worth it because it was record weight. Willie, will you turn on the lights, please? Yes. Lake Alchicuchi, where the Indians and the caribou roam. And the great Canadian goose wings its way overhead. It sounds mighty crowded to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, if you're through looking at the film, we'll put it away till next year. <laughs> Come on, Willie. Next year. You know, Harry, we've been looking at Fred's films for the last five years, but the closest we've ever gotten to our camping trip is this sporting goods store. Well, this time we're going comes something or other or high water. I wish I had your confidence. But I seem to recall a great lack of enthusiasm from our families. Well, just wait till they see our new Martin motor. <laughs> They'll be just as eager to go as we are. Boys, I'm in the sporting goods business, so this may sound funny, but when I go up country, I travel pretty light. But suppose you're faced with something unexpected. Oh, my two hands and maybe a bowie knife will handle anything on land or water. Well, that takes experience, Fred. Twenty years of it, Stu, from the Rockies to the Himalayas. <laughs> you know, this does seem a little underhanded, planning all of this and spending so much money. Oh, we can afford it. And as for plotting, you can't catch trout without the proper bait, can you? Mm, you can't bag a duck without ammunition. Well, right? now you're on the right trail. Now, come on, let's get out of here. Where's Willie? Yeah, Mr. Oh. I just happened to man get the equipment together. Oh, I'll take it. Mr. Johnson, that's a mighty big gun you got there. The next size must come on wheels. <laughs> it's the size I always use, Willie. Sorry, Harry. Here's your gun. This one's for elephants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean when I go shooting elephants. <laughs> yeah, twenty-two. <laughs> Good morning, Jackie. Looks like a fine day for wrestling some cattle. What are you talking about? Good morning, Mother. Isn't it a simply delicious day? Hmm. Ain't nothing delicious except in a stack of flapjacks and a good shot of red eyes. Jackie! Good morning, everybody. <laughs> good morning, dear. Good morning, Sheriff. Greeting, Peter. My, but everyone's dressed bright and early this morning. Going someplace? I'm going to meet Snake Eye Gladys and Wonder Eye Johnny over at the Golden Nugget. Golden Nugget? Well, that's just our new name for the drugstore. Uh. <laughs> Take it easy, Mom. <laughs> so long, gal. You look slicker than a brook trout. Hmm? Be seeing you're on the old corral, huh? Um. If you will excuse me, I really must toddle along, too. Then what's your rush? 
Well, I'm going to start my suntan today over at Kitty's house. Oh. <laughs> well, June, you're the only one left. What are your plans? Just some important shopping. It does seem a shame we all have to leave you alone on Saturday. Will you be all right? Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I was going to suggest you take the family out so I could put around, maybe have Harry over. Oh, that's wonderful. Will you enjoy yourself, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, there. Oh. Help! 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 Oh, oh yes, I... Help! Help! Please! Get this off! Oh, what are you doing in that thing, Harry? Oh. Well, he scared me. And I stepped in it by mistake. Well, you should be more careful. Animal traps are dangerous. So is fish hooks. Maybe you gentlemen should change your hunting equipment to butterfly nets. Maybe Fred Billings was right about using our bare hands and a bowie knife. <laughs> ah, nonsense. The experienced hunter is a safe one. Yeah. Ow! 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 Uh, uh, Willie! Willie! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Fish hook. Help him, Willie. Get it out. Where's the first thing? Quick, quick. Oh, here. Here we are. Ow! Oh, Willie! Get it out. That's... Ooh! Here. Oh, that's the snake bites. Oh, snake bites. Here's some yeah. band-aids, mister. Oh, oh nonsense. Take it away. Those are for tender feet and women. Speaking of women, what have you said to Adele? Nothing. What'd you say to June? Same thing. Well, don't worry. We're going tapping and they're going along. We've got everything that anybody could want. <laughs> Here. What's that for? <laughs> oh, wait till you see. Oh. Adele takes cold easily, you know. Harry, I don't think you'd better show those to Adele until after she catches cold. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never go camping. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, shall we set up the equipment? Let's set her up. June, this brainstorm of yours was the idea of the week. Well, do we have the fragrance of Park Avenue or do we reek of Broadway? Oh, it's very becoming, Adele. How about me? Hmm, perfect. <laughs> I was thinking of having my hair dyed, but if I did, Harry'd leave me home and think he was attending one of his conventions. Oh, just the thought of a New York trip makes me tingle. The beautiful clothes, the theaters, the restaurants. I haven't been there in so long. Harry still has a souvenir from our last trip. A transfer from a horse car. <laughs> well, let's go over and give the boys a preview. Hello, dear. Oh, Harry, darling. I stopped by Adele's on my way home from shopping. And I just happened to be getting into something new. <laughs> well, what are you made up for, Daniel Boone? Do those clothes. Uh, I just bought them, dear. <laughs> Me too. And we've got a lot of other surprises for you. Nothing could top this one. Mother, look at the swell suntan I just got. Just think in a couple of weeks I'll be as brown as... Why, Mr. Johnson. Daddy. Is there a ball someplace? Uh, no, Joyce. You see... Daddy! <laughs> Howdy, everybody. Daddy, did you know there was gypsies out in the backyard? Gypsies? What? Yes, and they already set up housekeeping. Tell them, Stu. Well, I think Jackie's a bit mistaken. What she saw was our big surprise. Come on, everybody. Look. Oh, I don't understand. Neither do I, and I'm afraid to ask. We're going camping, all of us. Oh, but what's the matter? I wanted to go to New York. So did I. And I wanted to go to the beach club. And I wanted to go to a dude ranch. Gosh, didn't you get the idea? I've been talking like the Lone Ranger for days, and I've been acting highbrow like Sunburn Society. 
And I'm just disappointed. Well, I'm just plain mad. Well, whose vacation is this, anyhow? I wanted to know. Now, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, hold on here. There seems to be a difference of opinion, so let's, uh, let's go into the living room and talk it over. Very well. But I think you can remove that hunting cap unless you want to shoot one of us. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. Yes, Take sir. those feathers out of your hat. You look like sitting bull. Uh, all right, dear. Yeah, we'll talk. I know New York is wonderful. So are beaches and dude ranches. But camping in the wilds is the essence of living. Mr. Irvin. Yes, Willie. Yes. There wasn't no room in the camp for this here thing, so I thought maybe I'd bring it in here. All right, Willie. Bring it in. Bring it in. Now, as I was saying... What on earth is that? Uh, that? Well, that, uh, that's a boat. A boat in the living room? Look under the rug, June. Maybe you'll find Lake Michigan. It's a very practical thing. Easy to float and navigate and good for shooting the rapids. Isn't it, Harry? Well, that's what Fred Billings said. Now, as Stu was saying, camping is... Uh... What's that thing? Oh, that's the gas tank. Well, yeah. don't tell me you're going by balloon. That's to inflate the boat. Uh, just attach it to the intake nozzle, will Willie. Yes, yeah. sir. Now, now, when we get to the camp... You haven't mentioned where this camp is. Lake Ouchacoochee. Sounds like a tropical disease. Well, where is this, this... Oh, Stu, I don't want to go. Now, now, it's only 200 miles by train, and then... Then? We pack back 50 miles by horse. And when an Indian hands you a paper, that will be my suit for divorce. What are you talking about? This is a utopia. A Shangri-La on the shore of an emerald lake. The water is melted snow. The air is champagne. The smell of pines around you and you sleep under a cover of stars. I'd rather sleep under a cover charge in a nightclub. We'll have trout for breakfast, quail for lunch, poison oak for dinner, and mosquitoes in between. Sounds like a Denver sandwich. Well, let's bury the hatchet and hit the trail. Well, my whole vacation is ruined. Who can I ever meet in the backwoods? A wolf, maybe. It's not supposed to do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. It's not supposed to do this. What are you doing? Hey, wait a minute. Get out of the table. Look out, Harry. Come in, Harry. Willie, Willie, call Frank Billings. Yes. Call Frank Billings. Stop holding. Come on down. Come on down. Oh, Harry, come. Willie, come on. Willie. Willie. Willie, why are you turning this thing off? Get the furniture off, Willie. Willie. Make a hole in it. Do something. I'll get a candle. Yeah, get anything. I'll make a hole in it. Get a hole in it. Go. I got it. Get 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 it. Let's get this thing out of here, Willie. Hurry up, Willie. Come on. You mean me? You oh, no, me. I'll help you. I'll help you, Willie. Get us that thing. Really blow it up. Please. That. They're removing the big mo. Adele, I'm afraid we're defeated. June, I've got an idea. It may not work, but it's worth a gamble. Listen. Looks like you shot the rapids sooner than you expected, Pop. Dad, uh, now that you have the boat out of the living room, couldn't we go to the beach club? Girls, I'm in no mood. No. Will you and Harry come in the kitchen a minute? Uh, yes, dear. Come on, Harry. Stu, hmm. Adele and I have been talking things over, and, well, maybe we and the girls have been selfish about this vacation. Well, maybe it works both ways. Perhaps we should have asked you first. No, you were big enough to want to share your pleasure with us, and that's the way it's going to be. That is, if you can first prove it is a pleasure. What do you mean? You have your camping equipment all set up in the backyard, haven't you? Sure. Yes, yes, it's right out there. Well, we think you should camp out there tonight. You know, acclimate yourself to that type of living. And then in the morning, if it's as good as you say, we'll be all ready to go. 
Well, uh, that's a good <laughs> idea, and I can teach Stu some camp law. I'll have you know, I was an Eagle Scout. Well, then you laugh for nothing. Of course, there is a program on the television I wanted to see tonight. Oh, come on, Stu, we'll show them, huh? See yeah. you in the morning, dear. Oh, yes. See you in the morning. Yeah, come, come on, Harry. I want to get out there in the woods. Sure. <laughs> Good night, girls. Good night. Good night, girls. <laughs> Adela, you sure this was a good idea? Well, if this newspaper's right, it should be. Listen, weather report. Temperature slightly cooler, winds and heavy local showers. There's nothing I like like a nice warm dinner when it's raining. <laughs> Let's start cooking. I couldn't ask for anything better than this. We better put up a sign outside to keep people away. They'll think this is the Ritz. Yes, sir. I don't see why people build cities. <laughs> well, we'd better get our beds ready. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> We're still in the backyard. So what? Once I saw a gopher here. Where? Right there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh. What kind of branches did you get? Fur. They make the best bed for a sleeping bag. I got sassafras. The odor keeps animals and moths away. Mom's gonna be awful mad at you when she finds out you cut her lilac bush. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's a... Willie, Willie, what's the matter with that fire? Well, the wind got up on his hind legs and it's blowing in this direction. Oh. I recommend we move the tent to the other side. No, nothing doing. It took us three hours to put this tent up here. So put out the fire and we'll cook our dinner in here on the oil stove. Yeah, yeah. Pull down the flaps, Willie. Yeah. yeah. Dinner? Well, let's see here. We have some concentrated liver and onions and some powdered eggs. Ah, oh, no. Those are emergency rations. Huh? Here. Look here. We have bread, beans, and frankfurter. Where are those frankfurters? You're right. Myrtle likes frankfurters. Oh. What's that? Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, what's you? Mr. Evans, huh? looks like it's going to blow up a powerful rain. Well, we can take it. We'll have dinner in a few minutes. Oh, uh, no, thank you, sir. I'm invited out to my lodge tonight. We're having a fresh fish fry. Oh. But uh, Myrtle can stay. Oh, well, that's nice, yeah. Well, uh, uh, I'll see you gentlemen in the morning, I hope. You hope? <laughs> he said fish fry. Yeah. Here, Jackie, open these beans for me. Sorry, Pop, but I gotta go in now. Mom's having roast beef for dinner. She said roast beef. Now, give me the can open. The doors are locked. So are mine. I tried all the windows. You smell something? Do I?
good, didn't it? Smell mighty good. Yeah. No, no, Harry, no. We can't let him know. We can't take it. Well, what are we going to do? Stay out here all night and drown? Uh, come on, let's go to bed. Anyhow, that's the first sound he's made since he's been here. What is he? Well, he says he's a hound dog when he's lying down and a pointer when he's standing up. I'll never live through this night to find out what he is. <laughs> My feet are cold. You should have brought your hot water bottle. Go to sleep. Oh, what a night. Not fit for man or beast. Billings could find a way to make himself comfortable. Oh, fiddlesticks. Simply because he goes camping every year, he thinks he's a modern Davy Crockett. I can face anything he could. All right, all right. Go to sleep. Oh, go to sleep. Oh. Oh. You hear that? Must be a gopher. Well, if it is, he's flat-footed. Oh, well, if it ain't Mr. Irwin and Mr. Johnson. Well, who did you think it was? Well, now I saw the tent, and I thought it might be Lawrence of Arabia. Well, we were just, uh, just camping out tonight. Oh, you were, eh? <laughs> you picked a nice night for it. Well, I guess it does seem a little odd. <laughs> you won't mention it to anyone, will you? Oh, no, no, that's not my department. I only handle burglaries, murders, and suicides. Oh. Good night to you. Good night, bud. Didn't like that last crack. I think he was insinuating that we were crazy, and I think he's right. Well, we brought it on ourselves. <laughs> Camping. Camping out in your own backyard. Oh. Oh. Mildew in the morning. Oh. oh. up it's morning oh yeah how can you be awake and keep on snoring holy mackerel <laughs> all night long i thought it was adele <laughs> well that settles it i'm going to get in my house if i have to crawl down the chimney and so am i but look harry now that we've gone through this don't let them think we didn't enjoy it did we why, you. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, I'm dead. You're dead. Murphy's <laughs> dead. Oh, good morning, Mr. Irwin. Oh, good morning. Officer Clancy told me you moved out here, so I'm delivering your mail. Oh, thank you, Mr. Beasley. From now on, you can put it in the box. I have a pointer here to find it for me. Yes, Mr. Irwin. You're welcome. Come on, Harry. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, dear. How was your camping trip? Oh, fine, fine. Nothing like it to make you appreciate. A warm home? Absolutely. Uh, oh, uh, pass the cream, will you, please? Mrs. Johnson was over earlier. Oh, she was? Yes, she said Mr. Johnson has lumbago, and she's going to take him to a New York specialist. Oh, well, that's too bad. Well, we'll just have to go camping without the Johnsons, that's all. I guess so, dear. Oh, here's a letter I found your hunting jacket when I hung it up. Oh, Mr. Beasley brought it this morning to the uh, camp. I forgot to open it. <laughs> oh. What is it, dear? Jury duty. Oh. I have to be there next Monday. Then that means the camping trip is off? 
For at least two weeks. Oh, Stu, that's a shame. I know how disappointed you must be. Well... We uh, feel for you, Pop. Yes, Dad, we want you to have your vacation. Thanks. I guess I'll go over and see how Harry's doing. Excuse me? Yeah. Hello, is this the Santa Fe? This is Mrs. Stuart Irwin speaking. I want to make a reservation for four for New York. Two weeks from Monday. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Dickie, are you in the kitchen? Mustn't touch the cake I just baked. <laughs> well, Mother, after all, no one really can resist a rich, moist cake made with a Betty Crocker cake mix. Mmm, it's got that special homemade goodness. Just begging to be eaten. Boy, I'd grab a slice of it, too. It's just as fluffy and moist as the cakes Betty Crocker and her staff make. In fact, Betty Crocker white cake mix is a favorite Betty Crocker recipe, already measured and blended. It contains famous soft-as-silk cake flour and premium cake shortening. All you have to do is add water and fresh eggs. And you get a fine, snowy white cake. A great big cake, too. In fact, nine out of ten homemakers in recent tests said Betty Crocker cake mixes with fresh eggs gave them bigger, taller cakes than the other cake mixes they tested. Betty Crocker cake mixes give you a full pound and a quarter of cake mix. That's more than any other nationally sold cake mix. And remember, those fresh eggs added to Betty Crocker cake mixes help give that special homemade goodness. Try Betty Crocker cake mixes and always make big, moist, fresh egg cakes. Be with us again next week when General Mills presents June and Stu Irwin in Trouble with Father.